We have ranked the top 10 most dangerous animals in the world by the number of deaths that they are responsible for with some adjustments made for aggression, percentage of fatal attacks, and other similar factors. It's essential to note that these rankings may change over time due to factors such as geographic location, human behavior, and advancements in medical treatment. These are the 10 deadliest animals in the world. 10th Lions Lions kill 200 humans per year. Lions are wild predators that primarily hunt and feed on large herbivores, such as zebras, wildebeests, and gazelles. They typically avoid humans and do not consider them as natural prey. However, there have been isolated incidents where lions have attacked humans, especially in areas where human populations encroach upon lion habitats. Conflicts between humans and lions can arise when there is competition for resources, such as water and land, or when lions feel threatened or cornered. In regions where people live in close proximity to lion territories, there might be occasional encounters that lead to attacks. Additionally, instances of lions preying on humans might be more common in areas with limited access to modern amenities and where traditional livestock husbandry practices put humans and their domestic animals at higher risk of encountering lions. 9. Hippopotamus Hippopotamuses are indeed considered one of the most dangerous large mammals in Africa particularly when humans come into close proximity to them in their natural habitats. Hippopotamus kills 500 humans per year, several factors contribute to the potential danger and deaths posed by hippos. Hippos are territorial and can be very aggressive, especially when they feel threatened or perceive humans as intruders. Hippos are large and heavy animals, capable of moving quickly both on land and in water. Their sharp teeth and formidable bite add to their dangerous potential. Human populations increasingly encroach upon hippo habitats due to urbanization and agricultural expansion, leading to more frequent encounters between humans and hippos. Many human fatalities involving hippos occur during water-related activities, such as crossing rivers or boating in waters where hippos are present. While hippos are responsible for a relatively small number of human deaths compared to other animals like malaria, snake bites or dog attacks, it is crucial to exercise caution and respect when near these animals in the wild. 8th Elephants Elephants kill 600 humans per year. They are known to raid crops in agricultural areas, causing economic losses for farmers, which can lead to retaliatory actions by farmers. During certain times of the year, adult male elephants can display heightened aggression. In some cases, elephants venture into urban areas in search of food and water, resulting in dangerous encounters with humans. While these conflicts can result in human fatalities, it's important to note that elephants are not inherently aggressive towards humans and typically try to avoid confrontation. The loss of habitat and resources due to human activities are some of the primary factors leading to human-elephant conflict. 7th Crocodiles Crocodile kills 1,000 humans per year Crocodile attacks on humans are relatively rare and mostly occur in regions where humans and crocodiles share habitats, particularly in areas near rivers, lakes, and marshes. Crocodiles kill 1,000 humans per year. Here are some reasons for that crocodiles may attack humans if they perceive them as potential prey or a threat, especially when humans get too close to the water's edge. During the breeding season, crocodiles can become more aggressive to protect their nests and young. As human populations expand and encroach on natural crocodile habitats, encounters between humans and crocodiles can increase. Droughts or changes in water availability can concentrate crocodiles in smaller areas, increasing the likelihood of interactions with humans. In some regions, people may not be well informed about crocodile behavior and the necessary precautions to avoid potential encounters. Sixth Scorpions Scorpions kill 3,300 humans per year. Only two kinds of scorpions have venom potent enough to kill a human being the Brazilian yellow scorpion and Israeli deathstalker scorpions. 
People with compromised immune systems are especially vulnerable to the potent neurotoxins delivered by these two arachnids. Fifth Assassin's Bugs Assassin's Bugs kill 10,000 humans per year. Assassin's Bugs, also known as the Kissing Bugs. These bugs are responsible for carrying Chagas disease. It is parasitic infections passed by the Assassin's Bugs. These bugs got its name by biting people on the face. The other one is freshwater snail. Freshwater snails also kill 10,000 humans per year. Freshwater snails themselves do not directly kill thousands of people per year. However, they are indirectly responsible for transmitting certain diseases that can be fatal to humans. One such disease is schistosomiasis, also known as bilharzia. Schistosomiasis is a parasitic disease caused by flatworms of the genus Schistosoma. These parasites have a complex life cycle that involves freshwater snails as intermediate hosts. The snails release larval forms of the parasite into the water. And when people come into contact with contaminated water, for example, while swimming, fishing, or washing clothes, the larvae can penetrate the skin and enter the human bloodstream. Once inside the human body, the larvae develop into adult worms, which can live in the blood vessels around the intestines or bladder. The worms lay eggs, which are then passed out of the body through urine or feces. However, some eggs may become trapped in tissues, leading to chronic inflammation and damage to organs. Fourth Dogs and Wolves Dogs and wolves kill 40 to 50,000 humans per year. While the vast majority of dogs are friendly and non-lethal, some dog breeds can be dangerous and responsible for fatal attacks on humans. Domestic dogs are generally loyal and non-threatening companions to humans. However, in some cases, dogs can become aggressive and may attack humans, especially if they are mistreated, provoked, or feel threatened. These attacks can result in injuries and, in extreme cases, fatalities. Dog attack leads to life-threatening diseases like rabies, lymphangitis, endocarditis, tetanus, and cellulitis. It is essential, therefore, to always vaccinate your dog so that in case of bite incidences, the person attacked is safe from the deadly diseases. Wolves, in the wild, wolves are generally shy and tend to avoid human contact. Wolf attacks on humans are extremely rare and often associated with specific circumstances, such as the wolf being infected with rabies, habituation to human presence, or scarcity of natural prey. There have been a few documented cases of fatal wolf attacks on humans, but these are isolated incidents and not representative of typical wolf behavior. Third Snakes Snakes kill 100,000 people each year. Snake bites can be dangerous and even deadly because some species of snakes produce venom that they use to immobilize or kill their prey. When a venomous snake bites a human, the venom can have various effects on the body, ranging from mild symptoms to severe and potentially fatal reactions. Several factors contribute to the number of snakebite-related deaths. Venomous snakes are found in various parts of the world, and their presence can lead to more encounters with humans, increasing the risk of snake bites. Encounters with snakes can occur when humans venture into natural habitats, work in fields, or engage in outdoor activities. In many regions, people may not be well informed about snake species and their behavior, leading to accidental encounters and inadequate responses to snake bites. In some areas, access to medical facilities and antivenom may be limited, leading to delayed or inadequate treatment for snake bite victims. It's important to note that not all snake species are venomous. And the vast majority of snakes are harmless and play a vital role in maintaining ecological balance. Avoiding unnecessary contact with snakes and seeking immediate medical attention in the event of a snake bite can help reduce the risk of severe outcomes. If you live in an area with venomous snakes, familiarize yourself with local species and take appropriate precautions to minimize the risk of snake encounters. Second Humans Humans kill 400,000 humans per year. I must clarify that humans do not kill millions of humans per year as a common occurrence or as part of normal human behavior. 
while it is true that violence and conflicts have been a tragic part of human history, it is essential to recognize that the vast majority of people do not engage in harmful behaviors towards others. Unfortunately, humans are responsible for a significant number of deaths, whether through direct violence and accidents. There are several reasons why violence and killings may occur in human society. Wars, civil wars, and other armed conflicts between nations or within countries can lead to casualties and loss of life. Criminal acts, such as murders, can happen for various reasons, including personal disputes. Organized crime or individual mental health issues can cause loss of life and destruction. It's crucial to remember that the vast majority of people seek peaceful coexistence, and many efforts are made at local, national, and international levels to prevent violence, promote peace, and protect human rights. Societies work to establish laws, institutions, and mechanisms to address conflicts peacefully and reduce violence. Understanding the complex reasons behind violence and working towards resolving underlying issues like poverty, inequality, and social unrest are crucial steps toward building a more peaceful world. First Mosquitoes Mosquitoes kill 725,000 humans per year. They are responsible for transmitting diseases like malaria, dengue fever, Zika virus, and various forms of encephalitis. Mosquitoes are considered the deadliest animal in the world. Mosquitoes transmit the malaria parasite from one person to another. Malaria is a life-threatening disease caused by the plasmodium parasites, which are transmitted to humans through the bites of infected female Anopheles mosquitoes. When an infected mosquito bites a person, it injects the malaria parasites into the person's bloodstream. The parasites then travel to the liver, where they multiply and mature. Afterward, they re-enter the bloodstream and invade red blood cells, causing them to burst, which leads to the release of more parasites into the bloodstream. This cycle of infection and red blood cell destruction causes the symptoms of malaria, which can be severe and, if left untreated, can lead to death.